Good morning, everybody. This is a short little bonus video to go along with the last one. Um, there was one type of example from the previous assignment that um, I, don't, I didn't cover, um, and I do see that uh, some some of you guys are having a hard time with it. So this is just going to be a short video, just because it's a little extra. So let's look at this example question right here I, I have on my screen. We need to find the distance between these two points, negative 2018 and negative 26. Now we see they're both at the same x value. They're both when x is negative 20. So all we need to worry about is finding the distance between our y values. So we see that this point is here and we have negative 26 down here. So we need to find this distance in between. So this is the same as all the other problems, but there is one warning here. If you just try to count each grid mark, Kind of like that one of the methods I showed you before, you're actually going to get this question wrong if you're not careful. Okay? So I did kind of mention this in the last video, but didn't go through an actual example for it. So that's what we're going to do here. The key thing for this problem that you have to notice, the thing that's different about this one versus the others, is that Instead of counting by ones on our, on our coordinate plane, it looks like we're counting by twos. So this is actually going from two to four. So this would be six, which makes sense, right? Because that was our y coordinate there. Eight, 10, 12, <clears throat> excuse me, 14, 16, 18, and then 20. And so we just filled in the missing blanks here. So that means that every time we count on our grid, we're actually, each grid going up one represents two units. So this would be two, then four, four then six, then eight, ten, and twelve. So the answer would be 12 units. But you could have gotten this without worrying about the scale if you tried one of the other two ways. So again, we're only we don't we're not worried about our x, right? We're not worried about left or right. We just need to find the distance up and down. So another way you could have done this is that you could have found the y, the y um, value in this coordinate, in our top one, and then the y value in the bottom coordinate. Okay. The x is the same, so those, those don't matter. So the difference between 18 and 6 must be the distance in between. So let's try that out. 18 minus 6, and you get 12 again, as you should. Okay. So be very careful with the scale here. All the questions, they're the same. You solve them the same way, as I mentioned. You just need to be extra careful when you're looking at your scale here. That should be something you check every time you look at a coordinate plane or any sort of coordinates any sort of graph, table, you need to see what we're counting by. So even on the x, you see it's the same thing. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to keep the video short. Um, I just wanted to put something together for you guys, for anybody struggling. Um, Please let me know if there's anything else that's challenging, anything else I can do to help you guys. Take care. Have a good rest of your day.